Okay, so you can see one right there, one right there, and one right here. We got some badgers in this field. We are trapping beaver right back in that house there. And just driving out checking traps to see all these fresh badger diggings here. So the girls are with me. They wanted to trap a couple badgers, so come on, take the camera here. I'm gonna make a little video how to trap badgers. Okay. Okay, film right here. So you can see, we got a beaver. It was caught just over there at that house. We're gonna use frozen chunk of beaver as bait. We have a front shoulder, a big or so. Bucket. We got Belial 220s here. I used to use nothing but Duke and Bridger body grips but lately I've really been getting turned on to these Belial's good damn trap I'm not a big fan of their safety yet but okay so these are my raccoon buckets you see how the slots in there these ones are a little big for these buckets They do go in, but barely. Okay, now, shine up at me for a sec here. Some of you guys in the States, wherever, different jurisdictions, you're not allowed to use body grips on land and stuff like that. We're here, we're allowed to out here, so you'll have to adjust your method accordingly. So I wire it up just to the bucket itself. As you can see around, we've got snow now. So the bucket acts as a drag. I can follow it if I do catch something that doesn't die or doesn't run, you know, runs away or whatever. I don't see it happening, but it is a possibility and it's always something I do. Okay. Shovel. Okay. Video right here. Right here. So you can see if I step on it, it just kind of collapses. That's not all dirt there, it's dirt on top of the snow. So what you kind of do is you dig a trench in there. So you can see it's all snow and dirt on top of it and stuff like that. Okay. And then we lay the bucket in there. The reason I'm using a bucket and not just setting a trap over the hole is because that badger's in that hole most likely. When he comes out, he comes out butt backwards, digging, pushing all the dirt out. Any trap that's in there will get snapped or set off or anything like that. It's not an effective way of catching a badger. Most people put the trap over the hole and think it's going to work, and it actually doesn't. There. So we stabilize the bucket a bit. There. Let's we'll take a film from right there. Let's see. So as soon as that badger comes out of his hole, right there's food waiting for him. So see, if that gets your hands getting cold, yes, you gotta go put your skunk mitts on. Oops, put your skunk mitts on. She's got her fox hat and her skunk mitts. 
show those mitts off. I can't feel my fingers as well. Your fingers got cold? Yes. Put them down right like this. Here. Flip them over. Beautiful.